207. Today, 1,453. So an increase. There's more houses for sale in that price range. 750 to a million. 596 houses in April. Today, 759. Another increase. Over a million bucks. Um, there were 970 houses for sale. And that was back in, again, April. Today, 1,130. So I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to go into you know foreclosures and, and short sales real quick. Actually, I mean, let me just cover those real quick. So REOs, there's nothing significant here. There were 292 for sale. REOs meaning real estate owned. Those are bank foreclosed homes where a bank actually owns them or a corporation. Or, uh, and there were 292. Today, there's 290. Okay, back in April, there were 358 short sales for sale. Today, there's 330, so a little bit of a decline there. Um, and short sales are homes where the homeowner is you know, negotiating with their lender to take less than what they owe. So we still do have those out there, but um, they're significantly less uh, now than what they were um, back in the day. So uh, uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Well, I forgot to do the um, uh, houses under 10,000. I'll have to make a note of that uh, and cover that next time I do it. But back in um, in uh, April, there were 2,197 houses that were available that had less than $10,000 taxes. And that was um, – I can't remember if that was an increase or a decrease. Actually, I, oh, it was a significant decrease uh, from the month prior. But I forgot to write the number down here, so – my apologies. If you have any questions about it or you want to know how many houses there were that are available under 10,000 taxes in Suffolk, you know, just uh, leave a comment on YouTube or uh, whatever. Just call me, text me, 631-831-9048. So I want to review these numbers, though, because they're interesting. <clears throat> so the $300,000 or less market, right, there's a, a 33% decrease. 300 to 500, there's a modest increase, you know, like 100 and whatever, 200 almost to the to the to the dot, 190 whatever six houses uh, more for sale. But then that market between 500 and uh, over a million, pretty big increases. Um, I was like, you know, the, the 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 higher end market is is very interesting because it's weighted down, especially you know between 750 and over a million. There's a lot for sale, and I think that has to do with, you know, people in that in those upper echelon, right? Homes, you know, over a million dollars, over seven fifty. They're people you're, you're talking. Most of them have, you know, they own businesses or they uh, they just, you know, they make good mon- money. Obviously, they probably have good assets. They're probably paying attention to uh, more of the fiscal aspect of things. You know. Um, like, hey, it's a good time to sell your home, right? So they want to capitalize on, you know, selling that, you know, two million dollar house, and maybe they want to buy value somewhere else, you know. So that's probably what's going on there. But it's a weighted market that's definitely weighted down. So if you own homes in that price range, um, just beware that you know, uh, you know, between seven fifty and a million bucks, you know, the prices have shot. You know, the uh, not the prices, but the uh, inventory has shot up. Um, what probably fifteen percent, and uh, over a million bucks, it's gone up. Uh, probably a good, you know, twelve, twelve to fifteen percent. So or twelve percent. Those are significant changes. So overall, the uh, in Suffolk County right now, <clears throat> there's six thousand seven hundred and thirty-one houses for sale on our MLS system. I mean that's all together. This does not include condos. So if you're into condos or want information on condos, definitely give me a call. These are just single-family homes. Back in April, there were 5,653 houses for sale. That's 1,078 more homes for sale now, right? inventory-wise. That's 16%. It's around 16% more homes for sale. <clears throat> that, that's a lot. Um, even with the, the stark decrease in uh, in houses for sale for th- you know three hundred uh, under three hundred, 
So the market's taking on more. Now, I didn't go over sales. I think I'm going to do that maybe next week. So that'll be a piggyback on this where I'll cover just the sales and what's happened, you know, in a- what happened in April as opposed to what happened in, in closings now. Um, I can tell you from my perspective, those again, just general numbers from Suffolk County. Uh, I can tell you that uh, this month in July is definitely busier than last month and definitely busier than May. Uh, I don't know what it was. You know, some people were attributing it to weather, uh, hangover from the winter. But May and June, May and June were not as busy overall as uh, as previous years. And this July seems to be picking up the slack. It's been really, really busy. Open houses, I always comment on this. If you're in the market right now, you're looking to buy a home and you are going to open houses, unless you like going to open houses, okay? Some people like doing that. They really, you know, I guess have nothing better to do or it's something interesting to do at least. You drive around, you get to, you know, drive a neighborhood, neighborhoods. And that's good. That's a, that is a good reason to, to track open houses. But, you know, maybe do that like once or twice. And then after that, you really should be making appointments to see houses. Um, even even if, you know, some of the houses that list, they, they don't have anybody in to see them until the open house. It's a strategy for, um, you know, uh, real estate agents to try and cram everybody in in the open house so the homeowner isn't bogged down with a lot of appointments. It also creates more um, demand for the house. People kind of like get a little crazy. They want to get inside the house. It's kind of like a marketing ploy. Um, even with that, you should be you know working with a real estate agent. And you know, I would say, for the most part, if unless you're a really strong buyer, which is let's say twenty percent down, conventional, or FHA, that does not need a seller concession, meaning they don't need to borrow any funds uh, to help you close. Strong uh, uh, pre-approval. If you're not that, then going to open houses and or looking at uh, listings that just you know listed, very tough. You know you need to be working with an agent with a good strategy to help you find a home. Um, you know it's interesting. I've been doing this since 2007, and what I have seen over the years is is always a different take on on working. You know, with buyers and and people who are looking to buy a home, and and uh, you know, three or four years ago, it was a process of elimination. You know, because right now we have six thousand seven hundred and thirty-one homes for sale. I think there's like six, maybe six hundred and seventy-five thousand total homes in Suffolk County. So this is a crazy low number, right? In the in the in the grand scheme of things, when you talk about the total number of homes in in Suffolk that are in Suffolk County built. Um, this represents a, a, a very modest vantage point of what, what could be for sale. But back in 2008 or no, 2009, 2010, you're talking about 30,000 listings. And today there's 6,731. So this is a seller's market. And, it, and back in the day when there was like, I mean, every other street had like 15 homes for sale. You know, um, it was a process of elimination. Today, it's a process of finding the house, finding the right home to get in before it's you've got 15 offers on it. So um, if you're a buyer, those open houses, if you like going to them, great. But if you're really serious about finding a good home at a, at a decent, you know, not overpaying for it in a bidding war, you should be working with an agent. Give me a call. I'd love to, to work with you. If you're selling flip side of that, you know, this has to all be broken down into, you know, kind of like the, the the micro level. This is kind of a macro level, a big, large overview of what's going on in Suffolk County. And again, if you're in Nassau or Queens, uh, Brooklyn, Manhattan, out in the Hamptons, etc., you know, you, you uh, I can help you with those as well. It's just, a, just breaking down this one county. But if you're selling, uh, you need to be looking at you know what's in your neighborhood obviously and breaking uh breaking down i do a great uh presentation on that 
and I use some good visuals to help you see kind of like the heat map of things in your neighborhood. So keep that in mind. Um, that's basically it. That wraps up the uh, the podcast for today. If you have any questions, you can uh, text or call me at 631-831-9048. You can look us up on uh, Facebook, not just real estate. That's at not just real estate. And uh, leave us a question or something like that. And uh, I know I was doing some stuff on flipping houses in the previous weeks. But this week, uh, I decided to do uh, these numbers in Suffolk County because I thought that that was really interesting uh, to see the decrease in uh, houses under three and the continuing increase in the higher end market of the homes for sale. All right. Market's still hot. It definitely seller's market so uh if you're a buyer be sure you're not working with an agent who's just quick to say hey you know what just yeah why don't you bid more bid more bid higher bid higher pay attention to the values in the area and um work with somebody that you trust i'm tom mcgivern thanks for listening be well